Extracting firmware In the previous class we discussed what firmware is and how to get the firmware image of an IoT device. In this class we are going to learn how to extract the firmware image. There are two ways of extracting a firmware image, either manual extraction or automated extraction. In this class I will talk about automated extraction. There is a tool called Binwalk that is important for our understanding of firmware. Let's learn how to install this tool and how to extract the firmware images using the Binwalk. Go to the Blackroot GitHub repository and download the Binwalk tool repository. After this go to the folder directory, open your Ubuntu terminal and install setup.py file using sudo python setup.py install. It's already installed on my laptop. If you are running default python version 2.0 I strongly recommend installing the lzma module. sudo apt-get install python lzma Now type the binwalk, so it's successfully installed we can see a lot of commands like a signature. Now go to the Blackroot GitHub repository and download the DVRF dam vulnerable root to firmware image file. First check the sections inside the firmware file. Let's type binwalk t. DVRF03 bin So in the firmware file there are four sections The first one is the bin header It will tell us the hardware version firmware version 
The second one is the firmware header, which will tell us the size of the bin file into the decimal and hexadecimal. A third one is for the gzip compresses data, it's the single file is compressed into a single file. The compressed file consists of AGNU, zip header and deflated data. It's used for compressing the firmware image. And the last one is the squash FS file system. An IoT device works on the file system and the file system in any embedded or YoT device can be of different types. This depends on the manufacturer's requirement and the functionality. So now we will extract the DVRF bin file. For this just replace the T with E. Bin walk E D V R F. Bin. Now we are getting an error. No such file or directory, hence Sasquatch P1 LD squash fs root percent e might not be installed correctly. Go to the Blackroot GitHub repository and download the Sasquatch file system. You need to install the C, C++ compiler, Libsma, Libso and Solib development libraries. Open terminal and type sudo apt get install build essential libsma dev libso 2 devs lib 1 gram dev Now download the sasquatch folder in the blackroot github repository Go to the folder directory open terminal and type build.sh Now go to the DVRF folder directory and type binwalk e dvrf bin. Now you will see that there is no error and it's working fine. And we also got the extracted DVRF file. Let's look inside the directory. It has the following content. A. Squash FS file system. Piggy. Squash FS root folder. Let's navigate inside the Squash FS root folder. And type ls hyphen. La. We notice that it consists of the entire file system of the firmware image. Binwalk makes it extremely simple to extract file systems from a firmware image. Hope you enjoy this class. Thank you for joining me. This is a Vive Avbedi from the Haken 9.